Who has been the most valuable member of the Trump team? Sean Hannity? The My Pillow guy? Melania's noise canceling headphones? Actually, that's a trick question. The most important person in the Trump administration isn't one person, it's a couple. Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner. No credentials necessary. Jared and Ivanka, or Jarvanka, might have been Washington outsiders when Trump won the election, but they've had a world of experience serving everyday Americans. Ivanka sold them handbags, and Jared evicted them. Trump knew that Jarvanka was the couple for the job, any job. Ivanka became advisor to the president, an important role in which she was tasked with advising the president. Jared, meanwhile, had a bit more on his plate. Middle East peace, criminal justice reform, the opioid crisis, reforming care for veterans, lead advisor on relations with China, Mexico, Canada, Middle East, infrastructure, trade deals, broadband policy, and border wall construction. That's right, Jared Kushner was like a Swiss army knife, if all the tools were nail clippers. Though Jarvanka didn't get off to the smoothest start in the world. Ivanka tried to use her new position to hawk jewelry, while Jared had to redo his financial disclosure forms more than 40 times. The president even had to bend the rules to get Jared and Ivanka their security clearances, just because the corrupt deep state FBI were jealous of all the cool foreign business contacts Jared's had over the years. But despite the odds stacked against them, Jared and Ivanka took Washington by storm. Did they have relevant experience? No. Were they qualified for their positions? No. But what did they accomplish? Yes. They hit the ground running. Jared got busy solving America's criminal just opioid Middle Eastern China Mex Canada wall, and Ivanka toured factories, visited spaceships, and even performed science stuff. It's like that old saying, picks and it didn't happen. But it was on foreign affairs that Jarvanka really scored. Jared jetted off to Iraq to model the latest from the Brooks Brothers Forever War Collection. He heroically preserved US-Saudi Arabia relations after they had a little oopsie with an American journalist. And he turned out to be the perfect person to solve the conflict between Israel and Palestine. I'm gonna to read to you what he said. I've been studying this now for three years. I've read 25 books on it. That's right, 25 books. Kushner had acquired a Goosebumps series worth of knowledge, and he was ready to put it to use. Meanwhile, Ivanka. She sat in her dad's chair at a G20 summit. So that's fun. Jarvanka did such a good job that in 2020, President Trump gave Jared his most important job yet, overseeing the government's response to the coronavirus pandemic. And Jared was ready to claim victory almost immediately. I think you'll see by June, a lot of the country should be back to normal. And the hope is, is that by, by July, uh, the country's really rocking again. But there was one issue where Jervanka really shined. And that issue was themselves. We have brand new questions today about Jared Kushner's real estate dealings. Last summer, his property at 666 Fifth Avenue it got a much needed infusion of cash. But where did it come from? China, on April 6th, approved Ivanka Trump's patenting for all of her brands to be sold in China the very day that she was having dinner, whining and dining with the Chinese president at Mar-a-Lago. Ivanka, particularly, is making millions and millions of dollars while she's in office that Jared continues to oversee his real estate entities. So they are profiting. They're leveraging the presidency so that they can get richer and richer. And to think, people say they have nothing to show for the last four years. Jared and Ivanka did more for Jared and Ivanka than any Jared and Ivanka in history. And when the haters tried to blame Ivanka for whitewashing her dad's more controversial policies, she had the perfect reply. If being complicit is wanting to, is wanting to be a force for good and to make a positive impact, then I'm complicit. You see, to Ivanka, definitions of words are like tax laws. They're just suggestions. Where'd Jervanka end up after the White House is anyone's guess. Will they settle into a beachside resort in Florida, a family villa in New Jersey, or perhaps an island retreat off the coast of Manhattan? 
Wherever they go, they will be taking with them four years of being in the White House and saying things and going places and other government -y things. Jared and Ivanka, we thank you for your service. Whatever it was.